Minister responsible for prison, Myron Walwyn, says issues such as overcrowding, health care needs, security matters, and rehabilitation at Her Majesty's prison at Balsam Gut must be addressed. Walwyn was speaking at the opening of a four-day workshop to develop a strategic plan for the prisons, which began on Thursday, the 21st of February. We all know and understand that there are many issues with regard to prison, and these, many of these are urgent. We also know that these problems did not begin yesterday. We also realize that we need to start somewhere, and hence this exercise today. We need to have a plan in place in order to chart the way forward. Our prison was built some 14 years ago and was thought to be adequate for our needs at the time. But it is obvious that times have changed and we have now outgrown the present facility. Do we need a new facility? The simple answer to that question would be yes, but we are also aware that we do not have the resources to make this a reality at this time. We must therefore look at what we have and see how we can make the best use of it while at the same time plan planning to create a better future. We must address issues such as overcrowding, healthcare needs, the physical structure, security matters, and rehabilitation. These are all critical to the development of the prison. In the ministry, we will be addressing some of the physical structures as soon as possible, as we are aware that the roofs of some buildings are in need of repair, among other things. Some 14 new officers have been hired to work at Her Majesty's prison at Balsam Gut. The minister emphasized that prison's recruitment officials need to hire more locals. We're also working diligently on filling the vacant post so that the prison can operate with a more adequate number of staff members. We recently appointed about 14 new prison officers and hope to fill the other vacancies shortly. And I admonish, and I'll take my time with this, I admonish those persons conducting the interviews to do everything possible to hire locally. As a matter of fact, I will be insisting that we immediately look at a local recruitment drive followed by a short training program to create a pool from which to hire locally to fill these vacant posts. Those who have ears to hear, let them hear. The answer to fixing the prison system, I am certain, however, cannot lie only in putting up more buildings. We must seek to ensure that the inmates are rehabilitated to help decrease repeating offending. And we must also start work aggressively to prevent our young people, especially our young men, from going down the path which leads them to Her Majesty's prison. The plan you are about to chart will help us in all these decisions. Walwyn also announced that government intends to address many of the critical areas, such as security and rehabilitation, at the correctional facility. The recent escapes at the prison pointed to a number of security issues which we are addressing and which the operating procedures will help to tighten. When these young people, and the majority of the inmates are young people, end up in the prison, we must ensure that when they leave, they are in a better position than when they came. We must have them in a position to find jobs and become productive citizens. That is why, ladies and gentlemen, you will hear me saying over and over again that we must ensure that rehabilitation programs are in place and it's my intention to have this done as soon as possible. Through organized work release programs, sentence planning, through various education programs and so on, we will ensure that the inmates are kept occupied and obtain skills which will help their reintegration into the society. The strategic plan is expected to address areas such as budget upgrades to the facility, new programs and rehabilitation for inmates, staffing training, public awareness, staff retention, administration and environmental safety. The workshop is being facilitated by Lou Edwards and Lisa Edwards of Edwards Consulting Investing based in St. Croix. Stakeholders represented at the workshop include the Governor's Office, Prison Visiting Committee, Social Development Department and the BVI Health Services Authority.